Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Stinking Sports. I'm your host, Nicholas Stinking, and today we're not going to be doing the typical recap. Instead, I'm going to do my NBA playoff predictions. And today, let's start with the Western Conference. When the first round, we have the number one seed at Los Angeles Lakers taking on the red hot eight seed Portland Trail Blazers. Now, the Blazers coming off some very emotional victories against the Nets and the Grizzlies. Uh, and uh, they're playing really well. Damian Lillard is popping off on the NBA bubble MVP. Um, however, the La- the uh, Blazers have a very, very small team. Nurture just their big man, and that's about it. Uh, they struggle getting boards, uh, especially late in games. Um, and I feel like the likes of LeBron James and Anthony Davis will be too much for them. LeBron James, such an unstoppable player. Very difficult to guard. Same with An- Anthony Davis. And overall, I just feel like the Lakers have a much deeper and better roster. So I'm going. Uh, I feel like the Blazers will be able to uh, win a couple games, squeeze a couple out in the fourth quarter. But overall, I feel like the Lakers are a much better team, a much more rounded team. Uh, they're red hot. They're tough to beat. Uh, they play so great in the fourth, along with the Blazers. But the Lakers are just a great team. And I have the Lakers in six, moving on to the second round. Their opponent would be between the four seed Houston Rockets and the five seed five seed Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, the Rockets, without their star point guard, Russell Westbrook, for the first couple of games with a quad strain. So I feel like OKC could take a couple games early from the Rockets here. But with the likes of James Harden, um, who's such an unbelievable scorer, very hard to guard, phenomenal shooter, uh, I feel like uh, the Rockets will be able to hang in there and uh, win some games as well. And the Rockets will end up coming out on top in seven after Russ comes back. Uh, I feel like the uh, Rockets will eventually fall behind a couple games due to the fact they are without their star point guard and their lack of size. I feel like Steven Adams would be a great asset here for the Thunder in this series. However, I feel like overall the Rockets' scoring ability will be able to outdo the Thunder in seven games. So in the second round, that pits the Lakers and the Rockets up against one another. Still have two more games in the first, two more series in the first round in the West. We have the Nuggets and the Jazz. Now, Nikola Jocic is a great player, dribbles like a point guard. He's such an unstoppable player. Uh, Rudy Gobert would be on him. That's going to be a phenomenal wet matchup to watch all series. You have Jamal Murray versus uh, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Michael Conley will be out for the first couple of games due to the fact that he has left the bubble to witness the birth of his child. Uh, so he will miss the first couple of games, which could be a key loss from Jazz. Um, overall, I just feel like the Nuggets are a better team. They're a bigger team. They're a stronger team. Uh, I feel like uh, they're just uh, better overall on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, not including Rudy Gobert, of course. And I feel like the Nuggets will take this game and take this series in six games. Um, I just feel like they're the better team, and they will move on to the second round to face either the Los Angeles Clippers or the Dallas Mavericks. Now, the Mavericks are not your typical seven seed. They have a great duo in Luka Doncic and Kritzap Porzingis. However, they don't have much of a bench, which I think will be their Achilles heel in this series due to the fact that Kawhi, Paul, George are two even better, is an even better duo, and they have a better bench. Uh, the, uh, the Clippers also have Lou Williams, um, and the Clippers, I just feel like, are a better team. You could see Porzingis giving the Clippers some trouble due to the lack of a big man in the Clippers rotation. Uh, Joe Kim Noah being their big uh, center right now. However, I feel like the Clippers are a better team overall. Uh, Kawhi is unstoppable in the playoffs. Paul George is playing great. And I think the Clippers take this series in five. So into the second round of the playoffs, we have the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Houston Rockets. The Rockets, I just feel like they're such a small team. Uh, not big whatsoever. Uh, Russ would be back. Hard would be back. They, they just hand around the wing. I feel like Anthony Davis and LeBron James are going to eat up the Rockets. Uh, I feel like the series will be done in four. I feel like it's going to be an easy sweep for the Lakers. I just don't feel like the Rockets uh, have the size to be able to compete against the Lakers. Though they have the scoring ability, I don't think they have the size. Lakers in four. Not to mention, playoff LeBron is quite unstoppable. Next, we have the Clippers versus the Nuggets. Now, I feel like the Clippers here have better forward and guard play. Don't have that big man. Jokic could be a problem. But overall, I feel like the Clippers are a much better team. I feel like this matchup suits them about as evenly as the Mavericks. So I'm also going to put the Clips in uh, in a five five wins here. They're going to win the se- five games. They're going to win the series, and they move on to face the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals, which I feel like will be a series for the ages. I feel like these two teams have been back and forth for championship running all year. 
um, Kawhi Leonard versus LeBron James. Uh, I mean, it's just going to be a, one, a phenomenal storyline, phenomenal headline, phenomenal series. Uh, I think you can go either way. Kawhi is great in the playoffs. He's a tough matchup, but LeBron is a, is a tough matchup too. Um, Paul George has been great. Uh, and then you have Lou Williams as well. You have Anthony Davis, who's going to be so difficult to guard. Uh, Joe Kim Noah is going to really have to step up and guard him. Overall, though, I feel like playoff Kawhi and Paul George are going to push the Clippers into the uh, finals in seven games here. I feel like this is going to be one of the best series that we've seen in the past several years. I'm very eager to, to see this series if it does uh, actually happen, which I'm fairly confident it will. And overall, I just feel like the Clippers will be able to push their way in with seven games. Another point I would like to make is that I just like the Clippers roster more, and especially Doc Rivers. I like Doc Rivers a lot more as a coach than Frank Vogel. I just feel like Rivers has more experience right now, and that's going to be a huge key in the Clippers win over the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Let's move over to East, where we have the Milwaukee Bucks, arguably the best team in the NBA with arguably the best player in the NBA, Giannis Antetokounmpo, facing up against the Orlando Magic. I feel like this series is an easy cakewalk for the Bucks. They're going to sweep them in four. I don't think it's going to be close. Nobody's going to be able to guard Giannis, Middleton, Bledsoe. I just feel like it's not going to be close. Magic don't have that great of scores regardless. Bucks in form for me. Next, we have the Heat and the Pacers. Now, the Heat and the Pacers are really two very similar teams. I feel like it's going to be a nitty-gritty series. Butler has been really well in the Heat rotation. I feel like that uh, he's better than Oladipo, the star player for the Pacers. However, Warren has been playing really well. Um, I just like the likes of uh, Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero. Derek Jones Jr. over the Indiana Pacers in probably seven games. I just feel like the Heat will be able to push through the series due to the fact that I feel like Jimmy Butler is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Very tough player to stop from beyond the arc, from mid-range and in the post. So I'm going to take the Heat in seven here, moving on to face the Bucks in the second round. Next, we have the Sixers and the Celtics. Personally, I feel like the Sixers have been very wounded with the loss of Ben Simmons, their point guard. Uh, and I just feel like they don't have the, uh, the roster and the bench to keep up with the Celtics. Well-rounded, very good, very balanced team uh, with the likes of Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and, of course, Campbell Walker. So I feel like uh, – and the Clippers have also – I mean, the Celtics have also been playing red hot, unlike the 76ers who have slipped and not have, uh, and have kind of lost uh, several of their past games. Uh, so I just feel like the red hot Celtics will be able to beat the Sixers in in, in four games. I feel like it's going to be a sweep. I feel like the Sixers don't really stand a chance. Embiid can do uh, what you know. Embiid's a great player, he's a great setter, but I just don't feel like he's going to be enough to push the Sixers even to one win over the Celtics. And then we move on to the Raptors versus the Nets. I think this is another sweep. I think the Raptors win this in four games. This is the uh, the Nets are without their star players, um, and they have basically an entire. New roster due to the fact of all their injuries and players not playing due to Corona. As well, the Raptors are the reigning champs, and Siakam and Lowry are two phenomenal players. They're a great duo. You have Van Vliet from the outside that can shoot it. So, And they're just a much deeper team. So I'm going to take the Raptors and four going on to face the Celtics. And now we are into the Eastern the Eastern Conference second round, where the Bucks take on the Heat. Bucks coming off. Coming off an easy kick walk, Heat coming off what I will think be what I think will be a very tough series against the Pacers. Uh, I feel like Giannis is also going to be very hard to guard for the Heat. Um, Adebayo is really going to have to step up, and I just don't feel like he can handle Giannis. Nobody really can. And if Giannis can't even get the job done, he's going to kick it out to Middleton or Bledsoe, who I feel like are also going to be very tough matchups for the Heat. So overall, I like the Bucks in four games here too. I think the Bucks sweep the Heat, and move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, here I feel like will be the second best series uh, before the finals, of course, in the playoffs. This will be the Raptors versus the Celtics. Two very well-rounded teams, not with a key star player, uh, very balanced plays that play, teams that play as a team, love to pass the ball, uh, share it. Uh, I just feel like they're great teams. People can beat you on both sides, various different people. However, I just like the likes of Kemba Tatum. Uh, Hayward and Brown more than I like Siakam and Lowry, which is why I have the Boston Celtics uh, winning this series in probably seven games. I feel like it'll be seven games. The Celtics are just more well-rounded and balanced. It really could go either way. Plus, the Celtics have the season series over the Raptors. However, I like the Celtics in seven games in this series, 
and I put them into the Eastern Conference Finals to face the Bucks. And this is uh, and the Bucks. I feel like in this series, uh, it's gonna be very hard to guard Giannis once again, and uh, guard Giannis once again. And I just feel like uh, Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are three great players. However, they're gonna have a real tough time uh, guarding the likes of the Celtics' big, big physical team. Uh, I feel like it's a Celtic, the Bucks' year. They need to win now before Giannis hits free agency. Uh, I feel like this has to be the year they're really trying to fight for a championship here. So I feel like they win this series in probably six games. I feel like the Celtics will be able to steal it, snatch a couple from the Bucks, um, but I feel like the Bucks will overpower them in the end. So now we move on to the NBA Finals, where we pit my uh, well, not mine, but my uh, prediction to win it all. The Los Angeles Clippers versus the Bucks. I feel like the Clippers are the best team in the NBA. I feel like it's either between them, the Bucks, or the Lakers. And in my opinion, it's the Clippers, and that's why I had them win this series. Personally, I feel like the Clippers will fall down 2-1, to 3-1 to one in this series. I feel like they're going to have a hard time guarding Giannis. But I feel like Doc Rivers is going to start trapping Giannis later in the series. And he's going to have to, and he's going to let uh, the other members of the Bucks try and beat them. And I don't feel like they're going to be able to. I feel like Kawhi and Paul George are going to pop off in this series. I feel like they're going to uh, lay it on the Bucks towards the end, close it out, and win this series in seven games. And I think the MVP of the series will not be Kawhi Leonard, but it will instead be Paul George. I feel like the spotlight's going to be on Kawhi, and George is going to take advantage of that. And absolutely rip apart the Bucks' defense. So I have the Clippers in seven games. Kawhi winning his second straight NBA championship after taking a break because uh, he did not like the Spurs organization. So there you have it. That's my predictions. Uh, the Los Angeles Clippers beating the Bucks in seven games. Uh, that's basically the video for today. One other piece of news, a big piece of news that happened earlier in the week. The Pac-12 and the Big Ten canceled their football seasons. I think it's a great move, honestly. I don't feel like there should be a college football season. I feel like the SEC and uh, Big 12 will fall, and ACC will follow short after. Uh, I feel like you can't have a football season with two of the major conferences out. So I feel like there will be no college football. It's very hard to risk the lives of players when it's not your kid. Um, these people are kids, and uh, I just feel like this is the right move. Um, so we will probably not have any college football this year. That was a big news as well. The Pac-12 canceled their basketball season. Uh, I personally think it may be a little too early for that uh, to jump the gun, but to each his own, the Pac-12 made the decision that they felt right, and that is the news, uh, the big breaking news for this week. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking, and drop a comment on what you'd like to see next or any questions that you have for me. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.